Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we are going to understand about group by transformation in a PySpark. The group by transformation group rows that have the same values. So it works similar to the SQL. In a SQL also we use a group by right with uh, aggregation. Here also we can use in the same way. For taking example, in a state, we have a couple of states are there. Now, whatever the same value is there, right? That value I want to group. So for that we can use a group by. Let me show you. So what you have to write, suppose I want to use a df dot group by based on the state I want to group. So what you have to write, df dot group by state. Always remember group by generally we use with the aggregation. So after that suppose if I'll use count df dot group by count and uh, if you want to see the result right. Uh, so what I will write display df dot group by so based on the state count means what is the total number of rows so in ny how many records are there for ca how many records are there that kind of the record you will get so what actually it is doing it is grouping all the state values so you can see ny whatever the ny is present into the state column right it group so and it is showing the record so for ny we have a two records for ca we have a two records for tx we have a two records so like that actually in a column whatever the values are there right and that values if you want to group then we can use a group by always remember group by we use aggregation function so count is one of the aggregation so that we have used so suppose based on each state you want to find out what is the total salary so how actually you can do that so what i will write df dot group by i want to group based on the state only so i will use a state and after that i want to apply a i want to apply a aggregation so what i will write dot aggregation and here you have to pass a suppose uh, based on the salary right so what i will write salary salary and after that colon suppose you want to find out the sum right then you have to mention the sum so what actually you have to write df dot group by state dot aggregation sum of salary you want to do so you have to write like this in a in form of the dictionary now if i'll do a display here so what will happen based on each state it will group and also it will find out the total salary sum of the salary let me execute this so based on each state what is the total salary it is showing me so if i show you in the actual data frame right so for for the id1 ny we have a to salary 2000 similarly for id3 ny we have a 3000 2000 plus 3000 5000 right so now we have grouped that and now we can see for ny we have a total salary 5000 so like that actually we can use that similarly if you want to find out the average if you want to find out the average salary so what actually you can do that display df dot group by which particular column aggregate salary suppose you want to do an average right so you have to mention the average here now what will happen whatever the average value right that we can see based on each state similarly if you want to find out the max value based on the each state what you have to write here you have to mention the max here you have to mention the max based on the each state whatever the maximum salary right so in ny we have a maximum salary 3000 in a CA we have a 2500 let's see it's working properly or not for NY NY we you can see we have a two record one is 200, 2000 second is the 3000 maximum is 3000 right so that's why it is showing the 3000 means it is working fine so if we had to group any of the column values we can use a group by always remember we use with group by a aggregate function like count max mean sum average like that similarly if you want to find out the what is the minimum value you can use a mean also you can see mean so i hope you got the idea like how actually we can use a group by transformation in a pie spark